Hi, and welcome to the first ever Band in a Box DAW plugin. As you can see, I'm using it inside Studio One right now, but it will work with any Windows DAW that accepts VST plugins. And this includes programs like Cakewalk, Reaper, Pro Tools, FL Studio, Ableton, Reason, Cubase, and a ton of others. So if you're already using one of these programs, then I think you're going to find this plugin very useful. So as you can see over here, I've got four tracks, and all of the audio you're hearing was just generated purely by using the plugin. So I've got a bass track, drums, a muted guitar, and another guitar. And you can see in here that these are real musicians. One of them is Alex Al, he's a, an amazing bass player. And then a couple people from the band Snarky Puppy, Mark Latiri and Robert Sput Spirite, and another guitarist, Michael Thompson. So, if you want to be able to generate tracks like this without ever leaving your DAW, then I think you're going to be very impressed. And again, I'm just using Studio One, but the Band in a Box plugin that I'm going to show you works the exact same way on any DAW you use with Windows. So, I'll show you how easy it is. I'll do it from scratch in a second, but literally, after you type in the chords and pick a style, you can just drag the master track and see how it just inserted them all on separate channels. And then it's great because once you're in Studio One, they're just WAV files and you can add, like I've added reverbs and you can pan them, do everything you like. And if you, you know, already have a project that you're working on, then you could just like add the drums to it or the bass or guitar. So it's very useful. So let me just show you from scratch. So I'm just going to go File, New. I'm just going to make a new song. And so this is what Studio One looks like by default. Let me just set the tempo. Let me set it to 90. And it's cool because the plugin actually reads the tempo of your DAW. So this is a VST instrument plugin. And it will show up so long as you have the Band in a Box 2019 version for Windows doesn't matter what package you get, all of them include the plugin. So here it is, I'm just going to drag it to a new track. And here it is, it's very nice, you can resize it. So you can have lots of fun doing that. And there are a couple, couple things you can do, you can either, well, there are actually a lot of things you can do. But um, with the select menu, you can either pick a full style or pick a individual reel track, and, then, and there are a bunch of other options like uh, like rail drums or multi riff or loop. Maybe right now I'll just um, show you the reel tracks picker. So this would be useful if you just had like a specific instrument in mind, like if you wanted an accordion on your song uh, and you didn't want a full band. So and uh, if you just want to audition them you just double click so I'll just demo that for you so that was an Italian Tarantella style let me actually just sort by artist name because we've had literally over a hundred different artists record for band in a box so I'll just do a quick scroll through so you can see but I'll just like randomly click on some so that's like a piano style we have a ton of acoustic guitar styles Lots of jazz styles, lots of fusion styles, and country styles, of course. So this is great, like if you have something in mind, like look, there are over 2,000 uh, real tracks, but if you just wanted, I don't know, pedal, steel or something, you could search for that. And then you have all these options and you can, of course, like sort by tempo and then audition them. This is like a soloist. So let's say if you wanted that, you could just hit OK and then you see it, it gets loaded in here. But maybe instead of that, uh, because I have, I'm not working with anything else, I'm just going to remove that and instead and by the way, you can always just, you know, close this and then get back to it. It always saves your work where you are. Um, and you can see the tempo is already set to 90, which I've done there. And so instead of doing that, I'm actually just going to pick a, a style in the style picker. So here's the style picker. I'm just going to show, um, let's just show the new styles. 
And um, so these are new for 2019 and I'm just gonna demo some of them. Maybe I'll sort by genre. See, there's a lot of variety. Celtic, Maracha, country ones. But maybe here, I actually kind of, I want to train beats. So you can also just filter. This one is pretty nice. This one's got a soloist. So sort by things like tempo. So I like I like the sound of this one. So I'm just gonna pick that. So as you can see, it's loaded in this style, and you see there's bass, drums, piano, guitar, pedal steel, and so now we just have to and the tempo is set to 90 and so now we just have to type in some chords i'm gonna make life easy on myself and just type in a 12 bar blues and there are also shortcuts you can use like k8 uh, will copy the last eight bars and i'll just i'll just do uh, two times through and then i'm setting the the end bar to bar 24 we're actually, uh, oh, I, I should have done K12. That was my mistake. So I'm going to hit K12 there. That's what I wanted to do because it's a 12 bar blues, not an eight bar blues. And so you can also click uh, on these bars to make these uh, part markers and that will just make a drum fill happen. So this is about all you have to do to get um, stuff generating. So I've typed in chords. I picked this style. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit generate. And so what this is doing, it's uh, uh, in the background, of course, using the, the desktop app of Band in a Box that you've installed. But as you can see, we don't need that open or anything. And so that's generating all these tracks and they're all going to be, because they're all real tracks, uh, they're all going to have WAV files and we can just drag them in to this session here. And some of them might even have MIDI data available and you can also drag the MIDI data as well. So it's done now. And so if you just wanted to drag the bass, you could do that. Um, but I, I much prefer this blue one actually drags all the tracks separately. So I really like doing that. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this. So as you can see, it sounds awesome. And this is the MIDI data. So this is a MIDI real chart. So you can also just drag that and it will import the MIDI. I don't need that though. So I'm just gonna delete that. And so what would make this cooler is if we added a soloist. And I'm actually gonna show you a new feature that only the plugin can do. The desktop version of Band in a Box cannot do this, but it's um, it's called a multi-riff. So here, let me just open this again. I just showed you, you could close it. Um, so I'm gonna select, where is multi-riff? Select a multi-riff. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna open the real tracks picker and it's gonna let me choose uh, a real tracks that I want like seven different takes of. So I, I kind of already know there's a nice uh, Johnny Highland new soloist for the 2019 version. And so here it is at 90 beats per minute. So I'm gonna select that. And what it's done, it's actually created two pages 
a second page and you're actually um, you actually get three pages so you, like a total of 21 different tracks which is also a, a bonus uh, compared to the desktop app of Band in a Box you're only allowed seven tracks but with this plugin you can have 21 and it does multi riffs so I'm just gonna highlight maybe the first 12 bars and then generate custom and I just want to generate the multi riffs because I've already generated the style tracks. I don't need to regenerate those again. But of course, you could regenerate, and then because they're real tracks, you're going to get like a different performance each time, which is really cool. But the multi riff is is even better than that. You get like seven different uh, takes of the same soloist. So. It's really cool if you want to like pick and choose exactly um, what solo you want, but it's going to be like the same, the same soloist, Johnny Highland, who's an amazing, uh, you know, country soloist and country player. And I think he lives in Nashville, but he, I might be wrong on that. So don't quote me on that. But that's where we did the recording, which was about a month ago. And of course, like when it's doing its thing, you can be like uh, working in studio one and stuff and and doing other things but i'm just gonna wait till it's finished here and there it is so now i'm just gonna of course we could like you can also demo um how they sound within the plugin but i just like dragging this uh this master track right in and let me uh line it up I think it should be, yeah, multi riffs come in. Actually, they give a bar of pre roll, so, so it should be come in there. And so let me, uh, it's going to sound pretty crazy if all of these are playing at once. And let me just close this. So this is the first one. Studio One gives really nice colors for them all. So this is the one we're going to listen to first. So let's see how that sounds. So that sounded really good, but let's say you're very picky and you didn't like that solo. Let's try the next one. So you can see the uh, the WAV files are actually different. Like this one has a little bit of a break here, but this one doesn't. So let's audition this one. Cool. So here, let's maybe do one more. You could spend all day doing this. Turn it up. Let's see what two, this might sound really bad, but two at once. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> it doesn't sound the greatest, but yeah, you can see how, uh, you know, great of a tool this can be, you know, as a music maker, producer, just, uh, you know, creating tracks very easily. And of course, see, it saved everything we've done and We've got the two pages, and of course, you could like save this as a band in a box song file and then email that to your friends uh, so they could open it up on their computer. But you don't even need to do that. All you have to do is just uh, save the 
the song in your DAW and then next time you open it, you'll still have this plugin, all the settings, all the chords you've typed in, all of that gets saved. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the new Ben in a Box DAW plugin.